thanks to the 1970 Honda Trail 90. I made it 5 miles and 3,000 vertical feet above the river bottom by first light without even breaking a sweat. I ditched the bike and walked another mile before I got my first response. It sounded like he was down in a hole and across the canyon, so I made it across the creek and did another call set. Nothing responded or came into the calls, so I headed up the hillside and got on the ridge top where I cut a track, which led to more tracks and more sign. It appeared to be a lone elk, so I wasn't expecting a herd bull, but with two days left in the season, hot temperatures, and a super moon, I wasn't about to be very picky. I followed the signs over a mile and about a thousand feet of vert until I came up to some benches where I thought I might hang out for the afternoon and work on him that evening, but instead I caught him by surprise laying in his bed. He was definitely on to me, but I'd been being quiet and cow calling, so a human was probably the last thing he expected to see. With an arrow knocked, I ranged him. 35 yards. Of course, he stands up at a bad angle, and though not very visible through the camera, there's some limbs about the same elevation as his vitals, preventing a shot if there was one. So I step to the left, hoping he'll give up a broadside shot before running. There's a gut shot. And now, a 40 yard lung shot. Well, there's a pretty good chance I just killed a bull. Snuck up on him in his bed and heard a bunch of crashing around in there, so this could possibly didn't go very far. With a few minutes to kill, I took off the Solvit head camera mount and replayed the footage. Thank you.
going to be a pretty good little pull out of here, but I think I made the right decision. Whew, yes. There he is. That bull didn't make it 50 yards from where he was hit. Right there. Yes. King of the forest, but he's got character. All his times are nice. Perfect shot. I just a two, maybe a three year old bull, not real raggy. So that's nice. He's just cool. He's got some character. It's not going to be a terrible pack out of here. It's going to probably take a couple days though, for sure. I'm just happy to have him though. So I'm over here working on my elk. And there's my arrow. The one that killed him. Two days of packing heavy loads off the mountain by myself definitely had me questioning my sanity. But looking at a pickup bed full of meat the following day at dark definitely made it worth it. That's where I'm heading.